we are going to see how to fix Google indexing issues. Here is my website index status at 622, valid 35 and excluded 37, which means Google has not indexed my 37 web pages, but now at 717, 74 valid and only 10 excluded, I am working on it. I will show you the tips and tricks which I have used to index my web pages. You can see the difference. 74 web pages have been indexed within one month. With not one month, quickly I have indexed all my web pages. Let me show you that how I have indexed. The first item making the content more unique, which means if you are using the same template. Definitely Google will not index your pages. They will consider it a duplicate content like heading as well as div content and all the paragraphs, everything is same. Even you know, maybe the text may be different, but the format, the format is very, very important. If the format is same, Google may assume it's a duplicate page. So you need to differentiate the content by either heading, you can change the heading H1 to H2, sorry h2 to h3, h3 to h4, something like that and add some div, other classes. You can use multiple things to differentiate your pages, which is very, very important. If you are not differentiate the pages, Google might be, you know, Google is expecting unique content only. So if you are using that duplicate content, duplicate format, definitely Google will not index, but it will take some more time or there is a possibility of that. So you need to differentiate the content by either heading or paragraph or add some div class, something like that. Try to differentiate and don't use the same keywords like, you know, previously you have used free. Uh, even after the page also you are using that uh, free for same kind of keywords and same kind of text in the title. Try to avoid those things. It may be block the Google index. And next. Use links and images in the post. Like if you if your particular article doesn't have any images, any links, Google may assume this is not usable for the users, viewers. So you need to add some other links in either internal links or external links and images, some short images. Also make sure that size is more important. So try to use the less size image and submit your static pages or XML sitemap in search console. I will show you that maybe you have not used that sitemaps, but please ensure that you need to upload your sitemap files, both sitemap.xml and sitemap.txt files. If you are not sure about what is sitemap.xml, sitemap.txt, just to Google it and you will get it within few seconds. It's very, very simple process. You can generate that sitemap.xml and sitemap.txt file and upload this to the Google search console so that you uh, know whenever you are making the changes Google will know you are making these changes so Google needs to index the particular pages Google will do that and write your post at least thousand words it's not mandatory but if your post has thousand words Google may understand uh, okay it's usable for the users so it can be indexed something like that this is a you know, uh, like Google algorithm is totally different. We could not understand what are all the algorithms they are using to index the pages. So this is all, this is all just our assumptions and it's a workable methods. It's working for me. Maybe for you also it will work. So just try to use at least thousand words and create high quality backlinks. Either common backlinks or any other external backlinks. Try to use redirect or anything, it can be anything, but please make sure that create high quality backlinks to index your web pages faster. Or sometime, you know, uh, Google has confirmed sometime uh, it will index within a week or within a month, sometime it will be, take one year. So, if your pages has some values, definitely Google will index your pages quickly. So, try to create some backlinks. So first you need to make sure content unique and links. Then only you need to use, you know just create high quality backlinks and you need to validate any error in the mobile usability section. 
just make sure that there is no errors in the mobile usability test i'll provide all the links in the video description so you can directly go and check that just check your web url whether your page has any mobile friendly issues or something like that also google has lot of testing tools google speed test just make sure to test all your web pages so that maybe google can understand you know this number of web pages i'll provide this link in the video description you can test your web pages and next use cdn network cdn network which is nothing but it's a content delivery network some of the websites are some of the networks are free even cloudflare and the other website other networks are totally free so you can use it if you are using you know cloudflare or hostgator or any other website providers just try to pass through cdn network just google through what is cdn network and how we can move our particular site to cdn networks cdn networks are uh, available in all over the world so it can pass your content very quickly it's a very useful useful method recently i moved my site to cdn network and ping your website to google and and any other platform any other search engines let me show you how we can do that so here is my first i will ping my site map this is the url which we are using so this is my https www.bestcourses.com which is my site url when i click on click on that you will get a message your site map has been successfully added to our site maps to crawl already we have loaded our site maps into google search console anyhow we are adding pink also so that google will understand okay this page has some values so we need to index that's the reason and some other tools are also available in the web let me open that tool and i will show you that how it's working education what type of content you have first first you need to select category what type of content you have like and your website url once you click enter the website url you need to click on ping now now please select the search engines where you want to submit your url here you have here all 50 plus google search engines yandex bing and the yahoo all the other search engines so what is this work it will ping your url to search engines so search engines can understand this is a new url so we need to index this is a possible re- possibilities there is a possibility like it may be ping the google to index your web pages also try to ping ping yahoo it's a possibilities are the right so try to ping all the web pages and next check your robots.txt files whether it has been blocked any of your web pages have been blocked with the robots.txt as well as if you block your within your web pages if you block your website it should be indexed and then once you have completed all these things you have differentiate the content use some images images and links it's not mandatory but try to use images try to differentiate the two differentiate your web pages in your previous web page it may have it may or may, may don't have the images and links but if you are adding some links google may consider it's a different page different page that's the reason we are adding links and images and add some relevant images not irrelevant backlinks once you have completed everything then you need to reindex let me show you how we can reindex reindex is a very simple process okay for that i'll use any non index pages okay let me do it just inspect any url and click on request index this is the final step that is it you know and before that we need to use uh, test live url here we can see 
like uh, any other issues are there in the particular url any changes needs to be made something like that you can see url is available to you if it's get, get indexed it can be indexed availability everything is fine mobile usability page is mobile friendly so everything is fine just uh, google has not considered it's a different page so we need to request indexing that's it done we have requested for the index and just wait for few days like you know uh, five or six days even if that method if you have waited for more than one month or two months still google has not indexed your web pages then you can use the other option such as you can change the url change the url in the post and uh, delete some words from the keywords and change your content previously you know for now you can consider i have this web page this web page is not indexed for more than a month or more than two months something like that so at this time what i will do is i will change this url to something else something related to others and also change the headings and any other content try to change other words then try to pre-index it it will works it might works there's a possibilities are there but it's a lost option if nothing is working then only you need to use this option or else don't try to use it for now i will you know update these urls in the video description just try to use it please ensure that content needs to be differentiated template don't use the same template for all of your web pages previously i have used the same thing you know i have not changed anything in my web pages i have used the same heading same paragraph same line of content as well as i am using you know my neck is online courses so most of my keywords has online courses certification something like that so google may assume it's the same kind of web pages so you need to differentiate and also you need to wait for some more time just give some time to google to index your web pages and do all these things high quality backlinks also will helps you to get more impressions and clicks there's a possibilities cdn network will provide web page you know it can be improve your website speed that's the reason we are using it xml sitemaps will helps to understand google to it will help google to there is a changes in the particular web page so need to recall recall the particular website so that's the reason we are using these uh, tips and tricks to index our web pages more quickly just try that and let me know if any issues you can comment thank you